Hi, this is a uh, 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 demo to show how to install Git on your Windows uh, Windows 10 machine, um, specifically for Seneca students uh, to be able to uh, get and pull the um, pro projects, uh, assignments, notes that we have uh, on a Git on GitHub. Uh, to install Git, um, open the browser and uh, simply Google um, download Git. The first thing that comes up is Git, Git Downloads. It usually finds out what type of an OS that you're in and it's going to give you that one. So download Git 32-bit. You can download any version of, of bit Git that you want. You, you can see if uh, the Windows that you have, what type of an OS you have, and use the proper Git for that. Um, for example, if, I, if you want to know if your operating system is 32-bit or 64, click on uh, uh, file explorer right click on uh, this PC and um, uh, click on properties over here it shows that it's a 64-bit operating system okay so you can see if it's 64 or uh, 32 now back to installation so as you see by default it wants to download git 32-bit I know I have a 64-bit OS over here so I'm gonna click on Windows over here downloads for Windows and I'm gonna click it uh, on 64-bit get for Windows setup all right now uh, it's downloaded over here now I'm gonna click and open it all right I got this error message. I have no idea what it is. Let's see what's going on. Uh, so what's get a bit right now? I want to check to see if it's a valid thing that we have or not. Nah, doesn't matter. Um, uh, I'll click run. Doesn't matter for me. Um, uh, I'm going to click on yes. And uh, now the installation comes up. So all the nagging thingy that you done, just click on yes and uh, for the insertion to come up. You don't need to do anything. Just click on next 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 keep going next keep going oh in here you can actually choose what type of uh, uh, text editor you want to use for uh, um, messages that you want to add to git um, it comes by you can you can just use any of these things if you have any type of uh, um, application installed any kind of text editor installed you can select that one I'm gonna put notepad plus plus um, or whatever you want it, it's your choice nano um, or vim uh, vim I'm okay with it so I'm gonna put it on vim now in here uh, it tells you um, how to uh, install git how do you want to run git uh, we want to be able to use git from windows command prompt if you do if you select the second one it just runs git from windows which is fine um, if you click over here it adds linux tools uh, to windows too so things like ls and things like that's going to work on your windows machine the problem is that uh, the commands that the names are shared between windows and uh, unix tools the one that is unix going to be used I prefer this one so I click on that one you can simply put it put it on the first one and be done with it so I'll click on next um, leave everything as default check Windows style commit Unix style again ch as default uh, default default and installation begins after the installation is over, you have uh, Git on your machine and you can uh, pull down all the um, uh, assignments and projects that we have on the on GitHub uh, repositories. Okay, now the installation is complete. I don't want to see the release notes. I'm just going to click on finish and we're done. I'm going to close the browser, open the command line. So the command line is open. I'm going to go cd backslash in root and I'm going to say make directory 
um, IPC144, let's say. Okay, now I'm going to say CD IPC144. So this is the directory that I'm asked to see. I'm typing ls and it works um, so like, like um, uh, a command that you have in, in Windows, which is pretty cool. I like it. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to test it to, to see if I can actually uh, pull a repository from uh, Git. I'm going to uh, go on Google Chrome and I'm going to go github.com slash um, seneca dash uh, 144100 now let's say I want to download the IPC notes that I have for section HNI that is this semester or I want to get note archives or anything so I'm gonna click over here now clone or download now in here I'm gonna use HTTPS because I don't want to push anything back I just want to download everything down so I'm going to click uh, on this icon and it copies it into clipboard now that it's copied I go back over here and I'm gonna type git clone and I'm gonna paste I right click it on, on, the, on the mouse and it pasted the URL it copied from here now I'm gonna hit enter and voila finished if I look at it I have IPC 144 notes SHI and that's IPC 144 node SHI. I have quizzes, SHHSII, and these stuff. If I do an LS, you'll see, if I go in that one, see the IPC 144. And if I, if I do an LS over here, let's go LS-AL, you will see that everything over here is exactly as I had over there. I have quizzes directory, I have quizzes, SHH. In SSH, I have uh, readme.md, if I look, if I go to uh, SHH in here, and you see readme.md is over there. So everything is cloned into your direct, into your hard drive. And if anything is changed over here, uh, you can simply do a git pull and get all the differences. So you don't have to keep downloading and over downloading stuff. So anything is added, any assignment is added, any project is added, you can simply go to the directory. So IPC144. The repository is IPC notes, so CD IPC notes SHI. Now you simply say git pull, and by doing this, it's going to check GitHub and see if there are any changes made to this repository and only applies the changes to the repository that you have. So I'm going to go git pull and I hit enter. And oh, sorry, I had a backslash over there by mistake. So let's do it again. So git pull and hit enter. It says already up to date, which means there are no changes made. If there are any changes made, you will notice it's going to give you the message, and the changes are going to get applied to the to this directory, and it gets updated and it becomes a match to what you have on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching. This was installing Git on IPs on uh, Windows 10 machines. Have a beautiful day.